Hello and welcome to the Kael'thas Sunstrider how-to guide. Um, I noticed YouTube didn't have any good videos that show you how to do this, so I'm going to show you how. Uh, this is how we're doing it. We're three men in it. We have a tank, healer, and DPS. The DPS is probably optional, but if you have one you can bring along, it'll go a lot smoother. Um, first phase of the fight is easy, and so is the second phase. I'll talk to those as we go. The third phase is you got to fight all four of these individuals besides Kael'thas at once, and you need to kill the girl first and then you need to kill the technician and then the other two don't matter and I'll explain this as we go along in the video and why this is you're gonna want your DPS and your healer standing over here and the reason for that is so they're out of line of sight of his mind control because that can cause huge problems it makes the fight go longer but it's worth it and then your tanks gonna stand back here tanking him behind the statue and uh, now we're going to get into the fight. I'll try to make it not so boring and try to speed up parts that are not necessary, like this part. Like I said, the first and second phase, you just kill everything. You're not going to have a problem with it. Kill each individual. Round up all the weapons that spawn in the second phase. Kill them all. Don't worry about the weapons. They are not necessary in this fight. And then we'll start back on the third phase. <laughs> Okay, he just spawned everybody. We're going to kill the girl first. Every attack should go on her to kill her first. And then after that, you are going to kill the engineer. And then the other two don't matter. And you kill the girl first because she does this huge knockback that really just disorients everybody. And it slows you down. As you can see here, I get knocked back and now I'm really slow. So uh, you're going to down her first. And then you're going to turn your eye to the technician. And the reason why you kill the technician second... Or, I'm sorry, engineer, not technician, sorry. Uh, the reason why you killed them in that order is, well, her, she does a knockback, and he does something called remote toy. And this will periodically stun the tank for four seconds, and it lasts for a minute. It's really annoying. So you want him down so when your tank's fighting Kael Thos, he doesn't have to worry about being affected by uh, the remote toy. Okay, so now that Kel'Thas has started, you taunt him, hit him, whatever, and then you run behind the statue out of his line of sight. And that will cause him to follow you. 
Okay, now when you're fighting this boss, you don't stand in the red circles he spawns on the floor. Uh, when he spawns a phoenix, your DPS can take care of it, or you can, as long as you're AoEing as a tank, you can knock him down. And you also want to make sure you kill his eggs. Um, he does a mind control ability. Uh, you'll know right when he does this because in your chat box he'll either yell obey me or bow to my will. After he says that you have free and clear 10 seconds your DPS can DPS and your healer can heal. Um, I wouldn't push it any more than that. So you want to make sure you do that. He has a pyroblast that I believe is interruptible. There's the phoenix. I should have let my DPS get it but I accidentally pulled it just out of in the moment. Alright, so he's got a shock barrier that absorbs some damage. You can break through it. It should be 80k damage to break through it. Or it wears off after 10 seconds. So, you just keep doing this, and right after he yells, Obey me, or Bow to my will, your DPS and healer can come in and help you out for a second. And then GTFO, so they don't get mind controlled. Uh, our DPS actually got mind controlled once in this fight. We were able to overcome it, just, uh,. Make sure you watch that. Like I said, about 10 seconds. There is no set time, but it seems like there's at least 10 seconds in between. There's another Phoenix. I just make sure it gets DPS. It doesn't have much health at all. And once you get through this fourth phase, you have a free kill, so... This is the only kind of difficult part to the fight, just making sure people don't get mind controlled. Yeah, whenever he says either obey to my will or bow to me is when he casts And if you can see our mage back there, yep, he just got mind controlled. He misjudged the timing on it, but it's okay. <laughs> As you can tell, he was a little upset about it. <laughs> That's okay, Bates. Uh, it's just a fucking mistake. We overcame it. Shit happens. And when something like that happens and you wipe, just do it again. You'll you'll get it. Um, another Phoenix, so we're just going to kind of DPS him down a little bit more. Uh, my control lasts for 20 seconds. Uh, during this time, your DPS is increased by 100. Your movement speed is increased by 50%, and all healing is increased by a 1,000%. So you can see why you don't want a big fire mage fucking blowing shit at me or the healer. So, alright. Okay. When he goes to this point, you want to hide behind him because sometimes he casts one more mind control and that can kind of fuck you. You, you can't uh, attack him right now anyways. He's immune. Wait till he's up in the air and he starts breaking shit and deciding that he's going to go into god mode. But once you get to this point, you do have a free kill pretty much. Uh, stay a little bit spread out and... Um, Stay a little bit spread out, and don't hit the bi big uh, purple balls. It's kind of it's kind of like Majestic's Terrace. You can float around a little bit. He's gonna throw you up. It's not a big deal. Um, you got it at this point, though. So in a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video to make it a little shorter, so you can stop watching this and go kill Kelthos, and hopefully, you have more luck than we did, and you get your Ashes of Alar. Um, so. I'm going to speed up the video now, and that's it. Good luck to you guys. I hope the mount drops for you. It hadn't for us yet, but we'll get it eventually.